Welcome back guys, definitely check out the private Discord server, link in the description below. We were making some pretty amazing trades recently, so definitely check it out, make some money with us, 24 seven hour support and almost 2000 members. Okay, AMC recently is doing okay. Okay, if you look at the little stock chart, it's actually trending upwards with the volume going down. The best technical analysis charting could actually get, but also keep in mind that IWM, the iShares Russell 2000 ETF that has eight to nine million shares of AMC is heavily being shorted at 38% short interest. And AMC itself is having an 18% short interest with 92.4 million shares being shorted and only 500 million shares total. So you get the idea. Okay, AMC, we're heading towards the massive end game here. But right now we have been seeing some news and some hints here and there about some liquidations in several positions from massive short hedge funds. So let's see where this is heading towards because we have been seeing some big, really, really suspicious activity recently with AMC especially with these weird volume spikes and also weird candlestick patterns and also what's happening to some really weird OTC penny stocks. So let's just dive right into it. So first stop we're going to be making is going to be Sears stock. Sears stock on an hourly basis was averaging at roughly maybe 70, 80,000 volume. And then recently it was like 4 million and 3 million. So what in the world is going on? Why did Sears stock just simply yesterday went from such a low price to suddenly a very, very high price. Like we're talking about the stock going up like a whopping 400, 500% in just a single day. What is going on here? Well, let me tell you guys something. Zombie stocks, because Sears, Blockbuster, and a lot of these stocks that have failed on the general markets that I ended up on the OTC are not doing so well. There's a clear reason why. Sears is not exactly the best company in the world. They're a brick and mortar store and eventually they failed. No one really wanted to go Sears anymore. Okay, they were at malls and stuff like that, but eventually they died out. But now we are seeing Sears holdings being on the OTC. So a lot of shorts shorted this company to oblivion. It just kept going down, 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 eventually become pennies and it ended up on the OTC, which is the pink sheets and the penny stocks. And the reason why the OTCs are the bad thing and a lot of companies in the OTC eventually goes bankrupt is because it's not reputable, okay? For all of you guys who watch Wolf of Wall Street, OTC stocks generally aren't the best. Now, some OTC stocks are actually pretty good, but of course, the majority of them aren't. So you can clearly see what I'm talking about. Sears actually is going in a downwards trend, but recently it has been going up. And let's just see where Sears is headed to because we have been seeing some pretty interesting stuff recently. I think there's suddenly a massive spike up in the stock because of a massive amount of closing. A lot of the shorts recently have closed their positions on Sears, Blockbuster, and much, much more. And that's because AMC and this whole entire journey of shorting the AMC stock is becoming really tiring because this is a huge liquidity trend. You guys haven't noticed this. Now, Melbourne Capital has essentially got out of all these positions. And Wall Street Journal is even saying how Citadel has redeemed about $500 million from Melvin Capital. These are some big things here because Citadel kind of needs the money. That's what everyone is saying. And this is why they've taken out $500 million bucks from Melvin. Now, they invested a total of $2 billion in Melvin, but now they're like, we kind of want our money back since we kind of need the money and we're running kind of dry on liquidity. And a lot of the major shorts out there have been covering a lot of their short stocks because they need the liquidity. AMC right now is the hottest stock to short. The stock is at a whopping $44. And with most hedge funds giving it a price target of $1 to $6, you can imagine how much money the shorts can make if the stock does drop to a buck or two bucks. But in my opinion, AMC cannot. Okay, they have $2 billion in cash. The apes are holding on the stock. In fact, major hedge funds are actually buying in. If you check out some of the biggest hedge funds in the world, BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street, they own like 17, 18% of the overall floats. Everyone wants AMC. It's such a hot stock and all the hedge funds are buying in. In fact, the majority of the hedge funds, I say 80 to 90% of hedge funds are either holding on to the AMC shares or buying more. Renaissance Technology is one of the most important and one of the most successful hedge funds in the world, actually, not just you know on Wall Street, these guys have cut their Tesla stock, which is the S&P 500 stock, by 75% and tripled their stake in AMC stock in the previous quarterly reports. That shows something. They did the math, and the math adds up. This is why you're seeing a bunch of major liquidations and a huge amounts of coverings for a lot of these meme stocks, like Sears, okay? It's already at 15 cents. They're kind of done with it. 
So they covered and it went to a whopping like 69, 70 cents at one point. So for all of you guys who think a massive surge in AMC is not possible, just look at Sears. In a single day, this baby went up 400, 500%. And AMC could be seeing the same thing. If we see some hedge funds out there suddenly decide to close AMC, easily $200, $250. That is what's happening here. And a lot of these zombie stocks are actually showing off the true colors of what's going to happen if a massive squeeze is going to take place. Because Citadel and also other major shorts have shorted AMC tremendously. This is why people are going nuts over AMC stock. And everyone knows this. If you check out AMC right now, we're already seeing a beautiful consolidation in the charts. AMC recently has been really, really wild here, but right now we do see a beautiful amount of consolidation like this, which is looking pretty nice. Now you do have this nice triangle shaped chart that's happening here, and that's pretty good, and an upwards consolidation and a decrease in volume. And so far, AMC is in a really good position. You also have the short interest of the free floats going upwards with 79 million shares being shorted to a whopping 92 million. And on top of that, the price of the stock went from 28 to $44. If you ask me, it really makes no sense. A lot of people want AMC shares because it's frankly a pretty good company. The CEO itself actually cares about the company and Adam Aaron has a pretty phenomenal track record. Norwegian Cruise Lines, Resorts, you know, Philadelphia 76ers, it's pretty big, okay? AMC is also launching a ton of really amazing movie theaters and also new movies. And it's a really popular CEO. I mean, you don't really see CEOs that have like 162,000 followers. You gotta be like pretty important or at the very least like pretty popular to do this. And AMC, it's a movie theater stock. But so many young millennials actually own the stock. Gen Z's and millennials, according to Apex Clearing Platforms in America, 25% of their accounts actually have AMC as the stock. That's pretty big here. And we're also seeing some big changes to AMC, including UFC, WWE movie concert. So AMC is almost like no longer just a movie theater. It's almost like a lifestyle leisure company. They're trying to do streaming on demand. We're actually trying to, we're actually seeing right now AMC transitioning from a brick and mortar store to more of a digital world. We haven't really heard much news about it, but I've already covered it in a separate video and maybe I'll talk about it once again when new information comes in. But I could guarantee you AMC knows and they're trying to transition to more of an online company. That's all it, guys. Thanks for watching and comment below. Definitely check out Moomoo. Moo. Link in the description below. Click on it. Go to Moomoo Brokerage Accounts, deposit $100 and get two free stocks. Get two more free stocks after deposit $5,000 or more. And by the way, there's an even cooler promotion, which is if you guys put $2,000 in Moomoo Moo for 30 days, you get a free stock of General Motors, GM. It's free money, guys, so definitely take advantage of it. And thanks for watching. See you guys later. We're going to have to look very closely on the dark pools. What's going to happen to the German markets this weekend? and what's going to happen for next week. Remember, next week is Labor Day, so Monday the markets will still be closed, so enjoy your three-day weekend. See you guys later.